This video lecture is about explaining the amortized analysis. Myself, Mr. Yoginath R. Kalshetti. College name is Service College of Engineering, Pandrapu, and the RC ID is 1281. Today, I am going to explain you about the amortized analysis. The amortized analysis. What is amortized analysis? Amortized analysis is a technique that we use to analyze an algorithm's running time. It is used to obtain a good upper bound on the worst case running time or a sequence of operations. This amortized analysis, the amortized meaning is to transfer the cost of one operation to the other. This amortized analysis is useful where a sequence of operation doesn't have the same charge, same cost. In that case, amortized analysis is important. It doesn't deal with only one operation, but for a sequence of data structure operations. So it guarantees that average cost over a sequence of operation is less, is a small than what we see in the worst case analysis. In this amortized analysis, it is different than average case analysis in the way that average case analysis have the probabilities where this amortized analysis doesn't have a probability. So what are different methods which can be used in amortized analysis? These are the three different methods which can be used in amortized analysis. One is the aggregate analysis, accounting method, and third is the potential method. Aggregate method where total cost of all the sequence of operation is calculated divided by the number of operations that we get big of n by n. If t of n is n total cost of analysis, we say that divided by n is the amortized analysis. In accounting method and potential methods are somewhat read to each other, where some of the cost, some of the operations are given the highest charge and that charge is credited has is credited and that is extra credit is used in latter case. Okay, so accounting method and potential method are somewhat same. So let us see one example a k k bit counter in this k bit counter a binary k bit counter can be used using a binary k element array array of k element so the only operation in this is included is uh, incrementing the value of a where a is an array which adds 1 to the current number in the counter so binary counter starts with 0 and has it start with 0 initially no cost is assigned for it and hence forward when the increment is available when it is incremented we are going to see that what what will be the cost of this so if binary counter if I take 0 0 0 and if I increment by 1 it becomes 0 0 1 so where the bit 0 is flipped to 1 a cost 1 is incurred so consider 4 bit counter where a of 0 to a of 3 in this case a of 0 is considered as the least significant bit you can see here example a0 is the least significant bit, most significant bit is of A of 3, so 4 bits are available. So cost, if I change 1 bit from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, a cost of 1 will incur. Now in this case, initially the cost per for single operation is 0. When we increment this by 1, the last most the least significant bit get flipped to 1. So the cost incurred is 1. Has we increased that 1 to the next 2? That is 1 0, the 1 list in a bit makes 0 and this 0 will get flipped to 1. So that is how it made 2. So cost incurred is 2. As we are making 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, a 2 cost is incurred. Now from this, if we are making incrementing again for 3, the 0 is flipped to 1, the 1 remain as it is. So in this case, for this particular operation, the cost is 1. Same, when we increase next, it becomes 4. The 4 counter the one bit is flipped to zero, the second last is flipped to zero, and this flipped to one. So as three changes are there, three flips are there, we can say that cost of this operation is three. Same thing again for the next increment, only the last zero bit is incremented to one, is flipped to one, that is all the cost increase is one. So this is the cost given for each different operation for each row. This is the cost which, in, which tells the cost until now. For example, for incrementing from 0 to 4, number of bit flip is 7. Whereas for this, is number of bit flip is 8. This is the cost, total cost until that end operation. 
in this case, I have performed n time increment. So if it's n increment, that n value is 12. So total cost incurred is sorry. Total cost incurred is 22. So total cost incurred is actual cost is 22. But if you analyze this as a worst case analysis, the highest cost for this any of this operation is 4. So 12 into 4 is somewhat 48. So worst case analysis will calculate as a 48. Well, the cost of this is a 48. But if you see the actual cost, actual cost is much more less than the 48. That is 22. Okay, this is what diameter analysis let me calculate. Here. Now for n sequence, let us see this again. Now in this case, the cost one to increment up to two it is three. To increment up to three it is four. Now up to here it is seven. The cost, the addition of all these values, it is up to eight here. Now in this case, for every or the cost is one. And for every even, it is changing. It is having more than that. So here 3, here it is 2, here it is 4. So what strategy we are using here is, when we are starting from this side, this is a bit. If it is 0, then 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9, the cost is only 1. When it is even, it is somewhat different. Or sometimes 2, sometimes 3, sometimes 2, 4, 2, in this way. Okay. So in this case, the A of 0 is split for every operation. So the last, the most significant bit is split for every operation. Whereas the A of 1 bit is split for every alternative. Same thing, A of 2 is split for every 4th increment. This is for every 8th increment. So for every increment, this is something n. The cost is split for every alternative. It is n by 2. This is n by 4. It is n by 8. So this is what happened here. So if you take general case, it is split for n by 2 raised to i. Now if I calculate the total cost, the number of bit flips in this particular operation is given by the most significant bit, sorry, the least significant bit is flipped for n time, second, last second is n by 2 times, n by 4 times, until n by 2 raised to k times. So it comes total 2 of n, so total cost incurred is 2n, which is big O of n. So the amount of cost of this particular thing is big O of n by n. So aggregate method in this way we are going to calculate by big O of n divided by n. It is total cost divided by number of operation. It is giving the big of n. Now, in the accounting method, accounting method is useful where in this uh, accounting method, each operation is charged something different. So, different operations are charged different. So, overcharge some operations early in the sequence of operations, overcharge cost is stored as a credit. So in a in accounting method, each different operations are charged differently. So the, the operations which are earlier in the sequence are charged higher than the others. So different charges are used for different operations. Let assume that C of i be the cost calculated till now. Where C i should always be greater than the actual cost. So whatever cost you are going to calculate in your matrix analysis, the cost should always be greater than the actual cost. So total credit balance should never go in the negative. So in this amortized analysis, what you are going to follow is, suppose the bit 0 is split to 1, 1 is split to 0 again. So cost of 2 will be given to the bit which is flipping from 0 to 1. So if you flip 0 to 1, we are charging the cost as 2. Whereas from 1 to 0, we are charging at 0. So we are paying in advance. When the bit becomes from 0 to 1, the cost is given 2. Whereas bit 1 to 0 is a free of cost. In this case, is paid as 0, cost is 0. So this is how in accounting method is used. This one, the bit which is split from 0 to 1, the cost mm -hmm. which is given 2, one cost is a taken in advance for the flipping from 1 to 0. This is how we are going to calculate in accounting method. You can see that the first, the initial cost is 0. Now when 0 bit is split to 1, we are assigned the cost as 2. So advance, when advance is paid. Now, in the second time, 1 is made 0 is a free of cost, whereas 0 is made 1 is having again 2 cost. So the total cost is again 2. Same thing for third, 0 is given flip to 1, is a cost is 2, where 1 is as it is. Okay? So if you see in this case, each and every operation is of same cost, that is 2. 
and the total cost which is here incurred the actual cost will be 24 okay total cost will be 24 as per the amortized analysis and in this case you can see that actual cost is 22 so the calculated amortized cost calculated by this method is very near to the cost actual cost so this is how the amortized analysis gives you better performance better cost calculation than the worst case analysis this is what available in the accounting method that is total cost is 2n big of n amortized cost is calculated as n 1 for single operations thank you